Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Simone. Today I thought I would do an eight week update or two month update and also just talk about how I'm feeling as well. Um, my two children have gone to Forest School today for the first time for two hours. So they've gone there with their dad. I was hoping to get a little bit of cleaning done today. Um, Caleb managed to get the baby to go to sleep on him and then he put him down and he slept for about 10, 10 minutes so I managed to hang up a few clothes but then he woke up so I gave up and I've got a top on but I'm still in my pyjamas and my hair's still wet so if I can manage to get some stuff done later then I will do but otherwise it'll just be a chilled out afternoon just the two of us until the children get back. So yeah so Micah is he's currently nine weeks actually um yeah i'm a bit late in making this video just turned nine weeks um but i would say since about the eight week mark um yeah like two months when he just turned two months he started laughing which was the sweetest thing ever and i've just managed to get him hot on video doing it now so i'll put that clip in <laughs> You like it when mummy's hair is swinging everywhere, so I'm swinging my hair around. <laughs> and he loves it when I make the sneezing sounds. Hello, Baba. smiling a lot he spends a lot of time in this alert state here he's spending a lot more time awake during the day Say hello. yeah he's um he's sleeping i would say he's napping a lot less in the daytime um he might sometimes only have like 20 minute nap and then be awake for like a few <laughs> hours but in the night time like last night he went to sleep at just after nine after a bath and then he woke up like every two to three hours for milk, but he didn't wake up properly until about 11 o'clock this morning. So he wasn't, when I say he didn't wake up properly, he just stirred a little bit. I gave him milk, led down, and then he went back to sleep. And then he woke up properly at 11 where he wanted to, you know, smile and, and talk and for us to hold him and everything. So... I'm really happy about that, but I'm not going to get my hopes up that that's going to be on a regular occasion because, you know, obviously with babies are really unpredictable and with everything, you know, we do child-led weaning, feeding on demand. We don't really get, we've never really got any of the kids into like a routine or done any of that sleep training. But I'm not knocking anybody who does that type of thing, but it's just not for us. It's really hard to know what his you know if, if there's a pattern emerging or anything but the next time i make a video on an update of the baby then obviously i'll let you know how he's getting on i'm so glad though that he slept a little bit longer today um because i had such a rough night last night we've all come down with colds and i just felt awful last night so i was really ho hoping that he would sleep Ryan was off this morning and he took care of the kids so I was able to just snooze with the baby and just get a bit of my strength back. Are you saying hello? Hey, you saying hello? I would say that he's still having a lot of wet nappies. Um, dirty nappies still not load. Sometimes it can be like once a day or it can be twice um, or three times but usually no more than that. 
We've had quite a few explosive ones though, what have gone through to the clothes. But I would say it's definitely not as bad as what it was like with Caleb when he was a baby because he always seems to be having explosions all the time. Because he's found his hand, he's putting it in his mouth quite a lot. And it's funny because Caleb, when he found his hand, up until probably was about 18 months, he used to like suck these three fingers, or these two fingers. And um, I was telling Caleb about it the other day when he was putting his hands in his mouth. So I'm wondering if he'll do something like that. But my daughter, she never did anything like that. She, she, you know, she found a hand, but she wouldn't put it in for like for long periods of time, say like Caleb did. He's just so awesome and he's just really chilled out. Like we took him out on Monday um, with the kids because they have like a home education school, like sports thing that they've started going to. And all the parents there were saying about how chilled out he was. He, he didn't cry or anything. He was just looking around and then he just have a nap. It's fantastic that he's so chilled out. There's only a few times that he'll cry and that's usually if when he's come out of the bath when it's a bit cold if we don't wrap him up quick, um, quickly enough and if we've missed his cues for when he's tired and he wants to go to sleep but recently he has started just falling asleep on us without having to have milk or fall asleep on the boob which was completely different with Kayla because he would not go asleep unless he was on the boob making dinner or something and he's able to go to sleep on Raya and he's able to get him to sleep it just make things, makes things a lot easier for me um, to be able to get on with things and do things with the kids as well he doesn't particularly like tummy time that much he will go down for like a couple of minutes but he doesn't really like it like the other two did but we <laughs> we get him on the floor as much as possible Oh, his relationship with Caleb is so sweet. He just loves stirring at him. And when Caleb's holding him, he's really, really chilled out. And with Neva as well, she's so sweet. She likes singing to him and she plays a ukulele to him and it makes him go to sleep as well. It's really nice that they've got such a lovely relationship with the little brother already. He had his checkup at the doctor's and everything's fine. Um, she checked his hips and his eyes and she checked his back and she said that everything's fine with him, she's got no concerns and she didn't weigh him but he's definitely put a lot of weight on, he feels a lot heavier now but she was saying about how long he is and she thinks he's going to be tall but Caleb's really tall as well so it's not a surprise so he won't need to be seen now until I think he's got a three to four month check or something like that so we'll be going to the health centre for that I would say that his, his hair is growing a lot. Did you just hear that? <laughs> oh my goodness. He needs change. I was talking about explosions and then that goes and happens. Cheeky jobs, hey? So I'm just going to change him and then I'll come back. <laughs> so all changed now. So yeah, he's always wanted to be in this like standing position. I just can't believe how quickly they grow. I like his hair, it's really starting to curl now. And it's getting a lot longer. I've managed to make a video for my son's channel and the with the baby on it. So if you want to check that, then I will leave one of those little things at the top and I'll also put it on at the end so that you can click on the video if you want to see it. It's got some highlights of the birth video as well and a little bit of when we was in the hospital when he had the jaundice. So me, I'm feeling a lot better than I did. Um, I am still putting weight on slowly, which is obviously a bit frustrating. Um, I have been attempting to make sure that my diet's a bit better, you know, eating a lot less chocolate and bread because bread is the thing that blows me up so much. As it's getting really cold as well, I've been making some soups and just trying to eat regularly. But my appetite, honestly, it is ridiculous. I'm hungry all the time. So I, I don't expect to lose any amount of weight anytime soon. I haven't started exercising as well. It's so difficult to try and find the time and I know that sounds like just a lazy excuse but with home educating, um, my husband in and out of the house the whole time and then obviously with this little one because he doesn't want to go down, it's so difficult to 
find the time to do or to hardly do anything to be honest so I'm still just taking things really slowly but my mum's coming to visit um, in a couple of weeks for a week so that'll be fantastic um, the kids are really looking forward to that so I think that's about it really. It'd be really interesting to know if any other mums are watching these videos and if you are, are you pregnant or um, how old are the children that you have. It'd be really nice to get to know some of you guys to see who's watching. And once again I'm always open to ideas and suggestions for videos so if you have any suggestions or comments then please leave them below. And if you're new to the channel and you liked the content, then please can you subscribe to the channel for more videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!